We're joined live with uh, in studio with Trevor Richards, uh, the newly appointed head coach. Trevor, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So Trevor, I'm curious, uh, what's, your, what's your background in rugby in general? Uh, my background goes in rugby goes back pretty far. I was born in South Africa. Uh, wow. Stayed there through until I was 10 years old. Um, my dad played, my brother played, my, you know, my grandfather played. I grew up watching rugby, playing since I was a little kid. Um, and then I moved to the States when I was 10. Mm -hmm. Moved to Omaha, Nebraska, which is not an obvious transition. <laughs> yeah. um, and rugby wasn't really an option until I got to high school. And then from there, I picked it back up again and just kind of took with it and ran. Um, played a little bit over in Australia, studied abroad there, and then played in college. I was a collegiate All-American. And then I was in the player pool for the U.S. Sevens team. And then I represented the U.S. in uh, Fiji in 2010. Um, and I played for a team out in Seattle, semi-professional club. And then since then, I had to give it up. Just the injuries uh, mm -hmm, mounted yeah. too quickly. And uh, I've stepped into coaching since then, but I've been coaching about eight years now. So I got to ask, you've had a very busy last few weeks, you know, in the interviewing process. Yep. So how, how's that experience been? Uh, the interview process has been long. Uh, mm -hmm. I applied for the job uh, back in the fall, and then they, they reopened the position again for hiring um, in the spring. Um, and then once selected into the pool, you've got about an eight and a half hour interview process. Wow. Um, by far the lengthiest I've had ever. Um, but it was a great process, um, and everybody was, you know, it was great. So, so I got to ask, were you, were you surprised when you got the job? Um, I wasn't, I wasn't. Um, you know, I think I've been working hard towards this for a while now, mm -hmm. about eight, nine months or so. Um, but at the end of the day, it wasn't about me. It's well, who's best for the, for the program. And mm -hmm. so I'm really happy with the decision. Uh, the players and, and the, my colleagues were fantastic in that, in that process. Um, but again, it's, it, it wasn't about me per se, whoever's the best for the program, and I'm thankful that, it, that it's me. So. so Trevor, I know you've been the coach of the men's team for the last two years, and you've interimed head coach for the women this past year. How, do you, how are you gonna move forward with that, with that knowledge, you know, working with both the men and the women uh, moving forward? Certainly, so I worked as the assistant to Todd Thornley for the head coach for the mm -hmm. men. Um, he's been fantastic, very supportive, and just uh, you know, a great just bank of knowledge, so I've definitely tapped into that a bit. Um, and then just moving forward in the interim role uh, with the women's team, you know, that's certainly been, a, every day has been something new, learning and growing. Um, and now that I'm actually in the position full time, you know, it's certainly, again, still learning things every day. I'm still about less than a week into this job, uh, technically. So there's, there's new, uh, new things every day that I'm learning, including recruiting, awesome. budgeting, all that kind of stuff. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.